Well, good afternoon everyone and welcome to the van and in today's landscape photography adventure we've got two things marked on the cards. So I'm either going to go to, I believe it's pronounced Buakail Etiv and shoot that or I'm going to shoot the Three Sisters here in Glencoe. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's wet, it's miserable, it's windy. I'll hang it out for a bit and see what happens. So this was option two. It's actually Bakhailativ Bieg. I think that's pronouncing it right, I'm not sure. But this one's a definite no-no. Back to the sisters. Oh. Oh. Right, I think, uh, I think I've got a sneaky little plan. If, if, we do get a little bit of clarity. It's called lazy photography, I'll be quite honest. <laughs> so the plan was to uh, park up in this little cheeky lay-by and get a shot of the two of the sisters there. Well, I think a little bit further back, you might be able to get all three. Let's get the camera out and see what I can do from this angle. I was hoping to be able to just sit in the van. <laughs> just shoot out the door. So I've made a bit of a dash up the hill right by where I parked and I reckon I can get a shot out of this yeah. and held I can't, be, I can't be bothered with the tripod today but hopefully I can get two of the three sisters the backdrop down the valley if I'm really lucky I can get that side mountain in as well that'd be awesome I just worked my way around and held So yeah, I get a decent shot down the valley here. Okay, no impactful foreground, but yeah, got the two mountains in, or two of the sisters, backdrop and a section of the ridge line there. Yeah, happy with that for a bit of a impromptu. I think I might even try a little bit of a pano. See if I can get one, two, three sisters. Push me luck. I think I'm, after gonna, I'm actually going to have to get down low though, so I can try and eliminate the road. Right. So I've come slightly higher up. Thank God the mood of the day has changed, or it has in this little bit. It's awful. Literally a two minute drive down the road there. It's amazing the microclimates that are here. Um, but I've come further up again and managed to get a couple of more shots. Yeah, the higher up I'm getting, the better it's looking. Trouble is, I haven't brought a tripod. I haven't even got you guys anything to stand on. This is proper run and gun vlogging and photography handheld. Right, it's getting dark now. I'm losing the light. Um, and these rocks that I'm up on are really, really slippy if you ever do come up this high. 
I've got to go back down in the dark. So what I'm going to do is assess what I've got on the computer. If they've come out OK, then I've got a shot for here. I'm happy. And then I can move on to Bacail, Ativ, Biag. And hopefully get a re reflection shot in the morning. Right. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Well, having checked the images, they seemed OK. But I did find another vantage point that I could shoot the three sisters from that I wanted to have a look at. So I figured... I'll go and check out Bukhail Etiv Biag and see if the reflection shot is on. And if it's not, I'll check out the three sisters again, see if I can improve on what I've done. As it turns out, there wasn't going to be a reflection shot due to the weather conditions, but as I arrived, I did spot some deer. Yeah, yeah not very good at wildlife. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm talking quietly, pulled into that car park, good morning by the way, and there was about seven deer just up here on the crest. And one of the things I wanted to get whilst I was in Scotland was a deer shot, or stag shot, oh, with an epic mountain background. And we've got the three sisters and deer. But I think they'll have buggered off by now because it's taken me too long to get my stuff out. But we'll go on the hunt anyway. We were literally here and just over this crest. I'm assuming they can move quite distant, quite a distance quite quick. So I hope they just popped over the hill and thought, I can't be seen. Well, I spotted them, they're right over there. They're moving too fast for me. I've only got a 200 mil lens and as much as I keep chasing, they keep getting away. And I'm up here and it is so windy. Oh, right, time to get back on the hunt for landscape photos. I tried to get a zoomed in shot of them running away to prove I'd seen them, but all you can see is their bums and small dots in the distance. Oh, never mind. Morning, everyone. <laughs> So welcome to the following day. And I've just been trying to chase some deer, as you saw, but unfortunately they move a hell of a lot quicker than me. So I didn't get any. But I have come up to this very busy roadside and this very noisy waterfall. I seem to be spending a lot of time around these noisy waterfalls to get that tree and those three mountains. Now, I'm not going to lie, I've just seen Paul Compton's video and he's took this shot as well. So it feels a bit like I'm stealing his composition, but uh, hey, oh, I think this is a popular one anyway. And I'm sure that he would not pass up this opportunity. So, three sisters, trees, river, but it's now clagged in. About 15 minutes ago, there was some definition up there. So I'm going to turn the van around so I can look at it. And then I'm going to just wait until they reappear. Pretty obvious where the shot is. It's down there. Such a shame. This is a spring or autumn shot, to be honest. Because there's just no leaves on it. I'm photographing a twig. A big twig. But a twig. Okay, that's not rain, it's hail. I'm getting in the van.
Well, that took all of about two minutes. <laughs> Didn't even get me a cup of tea. Oh, it's windy. This is going to be a case of playing with the shutter speeds. I'm going to need one for the water, one for the tree. So a fast shutter speed for the tree because it's moving so much. And then a slow shutter speed for the water. Just get set up and the wind is blowing like you wouldn't believe. It's actually blowing the water back towards me. Which is stupid because it's flowing down hill, not, <laughs> not uphill. Oh, so my lens is now going to be soaked. So I'm set up. I'm probably <laughs> within inches of where Paul Compton was, to be honest. But you need to get to a position where you can get the tree above the mountain line. And that's pretty much here. <laughs> Uh, I'm just waiting for the right cloud structure to come over, which is looking good about now, to be honest. Then I'll take all the faster shots. Okay, we're just getting some nice bright cloud and it's giving me some light on the mountains. Happy days. Right, that's the mountains done. Now let's get the tree. And now I've got some rocks in the foreground. So I need to make sure I've got those sharp. Looking good. So now I just need to take one for the speed of the water that I want and the way it's traveling. I don't think I want a polarizer on this. If I polarize it, I'm gonna end up with too much dark water in the front, I think, and not enough streaking. I'm gonna go half a second looking at it. ISO 64. Right, I'm going to have to put a filter on. So pop on the three-stop filter. And I'll just adjust my F-stop and my ISO to suit. I'm going to focus about where the rocks are, as this is only for the water. And try that. Let's see what that gives us. Well, there we go, guys. That's the three sisters. Yes, I've bagged three sisters, finally. <sighs> Tree shot, long exposure shot. Yeah, I'm not sure if they've come out completely sharp. As best as I could see, they have. But as I've stuck the tripod in moving water in high winds, there's a strong chance that they're not. But we give it a go. And I think that's enough from me today. I'm going to go back to the van. I'm going to have that cup of tea something to eat and I'm gonna warm back up. I'll catch you guys in the next one.